Bears, and welcome to, believe it or not, week nine of West Branch Bear football. Uh, we find ourselves uh, tonight back here at beautiful Oliphant Street Field, and uh, just a beautiful night for football, a temperature in the mid-50s, uh, not a lot of wind. We thought we might have rain, but there's been no rain to this point, and boy, oh boy, is this a big football game. This thing has uh, playoff implications written all over it. Uh, I'm sure all of you have probably uh, heard on the radio and the TV and read in the paper about all of the possibilities. We don't want to really get into that. I think you can really bottom line it in a hurry, and that is that the Bears need to win this football game, number one. They would like to win it by 13, and then they need one of the five teams that's ahead of them to get beat. Uh, of the, in the state of Iowa, there's about 15 teams with one loss. Williamsburg is the number one rated team with one loss. So this is huge for them. If they win this game, they're in the playoffs. Uh, our pregame comments, as usual, are courtesy of Mike Owen in the West Branch Times. He does a great job for us all, uh, all season. He's always very positive, which is really great for a football program. This victory uh, last week, a big victory down at West Liberty. Uh, West Liberty almost a uh, 3A school, uh, West Branch being a small 2A, but the Bears went down on West Liberty's home field, came away in the rain and the muck and the mud with a victory. That victory sends the Bears into a big game this week at Oliphant Street Field against Williamsburg, who's 5-1 in the district and 5-3 overall. Uh, they're coming off a 7-6 defeat to district champion Highland Lone Tree, and they also have high playoff hopes. As we said, the losing 7-6 to Highland Lone Tree tells you a little bit about this Williamsburg football team. Highland sealed that win with an 11-minute, 40-second possession last week in the fourth quarter, so Williamsburg coach Jim Wamachill is thinking ball control. Wamachill said the Raiders need to shut down Vincent and Gates. Offensively, we have to maintain possession and keep the ball out of the Bears' offensive hands and try to use some clock. Conversely, Coach Peterson said the Bears can't let the Raiders control the ball. That will be a challenge because they're big, they're strong, they're physical, and they play power football. Running back Travis, ha Travis Heitman and quarterback Andy Hocker lead Williamsburg. This game's got some meaning. It's a great place to play, Wamachill said. It should be exciting. And as we said before, what more could you ask for? Little Rose Bowl, Oliphant Street Field. There's been a lot of great football games played here, folks. And uh, tonight, uh, we shouldn't be disappointed at all. In Class 2A District 6, Highland Lone Tree, of course, has clinched the district. They are uh, all alone at 6-0. They're 8-0 overall, having a great season down there. The Bears are 5-1 in District 6, tied with Williamsburg. The Bears' overall record is 6-2. Williamsburg is 5-3. West Liberty comes in at 3-3 in a district, 4-4 overall. Mid Prairie at 2-4. 3-5 overall, Clear Creek Amana at 2-4 and four, and a 2-6 and six overall and we might say that Clear Creek Amana has been a team that we've seen improvement in this year. Loise and Muscatines 1-5, one 1-7 and one and overall and Wilton is 0-6 in the district and 1-7 and overall. The last week's score is West Branch 14, West Liberty 12, Clear Creek Amana 20, Wilton 18, Highland Lone Tree 7, Williamsburg 6, Mid Prairie 18 and Loise and Muscatines 6. This week we find Williamsburg here at the Bears. Mid Prairie at Clear Creek, West Liberty at L&M, and Wilton at Highland Lone Tree. So as you can see, it seems like, as always, the year has flown by, and as always, the Barretts are in the playoff hunt. As, uh, as we said before, now we'll try to get a few of the uh, stats here that uh, Mike Owen also provides us. He provides uh, stats for the entire district. Uh, individual leaders in passing efficiency in district games, Aaron Vincent's in third place. In passing efficiency all games, Aaron Vincent's in second place. On the defensive side of the football game, uh, on sacks, uh, we find ourselves with uh, Corey Kessler tied for fifth place at three. And in rushing 100-yard games, Pat Gates from uh, West Branch is third with four in the district and five overall. Bears come back on the field as the school song plays here after uh, they had their little pregame meeting and uh, set to go. We'll try to get a few more stats in here before the start of this football game. And as we said, it's a great, going to be a great one. Uh, individual leaders in receiving in district games, Pat Gates is in eighth place. Jamie Shore comes in at 13th. Uh, receiving for all games, Pat Gates comes in at 9th. Luke Murphy's at 11th and Jamie Shore is at 12th. Uh, punt returns. In the district, Luke Murphy leads that thing. He's got uh, six returns, 103 yards, and 17.2 yard average. And he also leads in all games with nine games, 137 yards, and a 15.2 yard average. We're set to go here at Oliphant Street Field. 
Tim O'Neill, the fine West Branch kicker, kicks from the 40. It's a high kick taken by Williamsburg at about their own 10-yard uh, line. Fumble there, and uh, Bears down there on special teams. They do a great job on special teams. Quarterback, Williamsburg uh, takes over at their own 15, and uh, they go over the left side there for a couple. Three on that first down. Second and seven. Over that left side, and they'll have a couple more. Callister brings the play in, and boy, it's hard to pick up players here because Williamsburg just breaks the huddle and goes. Hand off over that left side, cuts it back inside, and it looks like the Bears are going to hold. 40 for Williamsburg, Travis Roberts to punt. Kessler and uh, Murphy back about the Bear 45. It's a high kick. Uh, Bears are going to have to be careful that it doesn't hit somebody here. It takes a uh, Williamsburg bounce and rolls dead at the Bear 49-yard line. Folks, Bears take over. We're going to say it's at the 48-yard line. Their first offensive series with 10-16 to go in this first quarter. Hand off to O'Neill straight ahead for about four. Anyone sure brings a play in for the Bears here. O'Neill makes a nice run. News Copter 9 comes zeroing in here on us in the uh, distance. Second down and seven. Vincent pitches. Gates uh, gets hit uh, in the backfield and he's gonna lose about three. 10, number 55, uh, Kyle Burby hurt on that last play for Williamsburg. So we had a slight delay here. Vincent sets him down. Murphy in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw, has time, has a man out there. He has him wide open, that's Gates. And a nice defensive play there by uh, Williamsburg. All right, fourth and 10. Bears are gonna be forced to punt here. Sure will be punting from about the Bear 36 yard line, snaps back, it's a good one. Punts away and it's also a very good kick. Taken at the 10, uh, number 22 Gates, or 32 Gates. Kessler's down there, number 58. Kaleberg comes in and makes a great tackle. Session, Williamsburg picks up two yards. This time they start from the 17 over that left side and they're gonna get about two or three. Picks up four yards on that first down carry. This time they sweep right to the right. Bears are out there, Kessler is there. Uh, Corey Kessler makes a nice play at that defensive end. The ball's dropped, it's still on the ground. Turn of events, a personal foul on the Bears for a late hit. Waynesburg has a first down now out at the 32-yard uh, line. Waynesburg gets uh, four yards, so it's second six. They go around that left side this time. Brian O'Neill out there along with Gates. Down he goes, a gain of one. It's once again for Waynesburg. This time it's at the 35-yard line. Back to throw, and we have a flag. Waynesburg assessed a five-yard offside penalty. Brings up a third and 11 here. Ball on the Waynesburg 30-yard line. 6.27 to go. First quarter, no score. Back to throw, rolls right. Kessler has him. He's in the grass. Uh, completes it out here to 99 and number four, Aaron Vincent makes a nice tackle on number Ready? Once again, the Bears hold, so it's fourth and eight. This time, Williamsburg will punt, and it's off the side of his foot. It's gonna hit at the, hits a Williamsburg player at the 42-yard line. And I think you're seeing a lot of spooky things happen here. That ball hit a Williamsburg player at the 42-yard line. We were afraid they weren't gonna mark it there. Murphy in motion to the right. First and 10 Bears on their own 41. Quick pitch to the right to Gates. He has the ball, squirts through there to the 45, and he's gonna be out for about six. Six yard line, 5.13 to go. First quarter, no score, second and four. This time it's Gates in motion. Hand off inside to O'Neill, and uh, he's on his feet and he's gonna lose a yard. Third down and we'll call it eight. Boy, they spot the ball two yards deeper than what we thought it should be, but that's the way it goes. Ball on the Bear, 44-yard line. Sure in motion to the right. Sure rolls right. Vincent in the pocket, has a man wide open. That's uh, Kessler, and he circles back to the 50, and he'll be down at about the uh, Williamsburg 47-yard line. Big first down. That uh, eight-yard pass from uh, Vincent to Kessler brings up a first and 10 on the Williamsburg 48-yard line. Murphy in motion to the right. Vincent fakes a handoff, rolls right, gets a nice block out there and uh, gets the ball away and it's complete to O'Neill down at about the 41 yard line. Three here for the Bears, ball down on the Williamsburg uh, 41 yard line. That was a six yard pass from uh, Vincent to O'Neill and Vincent very dangerous when he rolls out with that football. Uh, once again, fakes the handoff, then has a man going wide open. That's number 33, Osmondson. Four, boy, Williamsburg dodged a bullet there. Osmondson uh, uh, just slightly uh, Underestimated that football. Vincent uh, fakes a handoff. It looked like a broken play, and I think they still got the first down. 
Number 21 sure brings the play in for the Bears. First and 10, that's their second uh, first down on this drive. Ball on the Williamsburg 36 yard line, 246 to go first quarter, no score. Hand off to O'Neill, he's jammed up immediately for no gain. Loses a yard, so it's second and 11 here. Ball on the Williamsburg 36 yard line, Murphy in motion. Vincent back to throw, has somebody open out here and that's complete at about the 24 yard line. That's Kessler and it's close to another first down. Uh, pass complete from Vincent to Kessler. Down to the Williamsburg 24 yard line. Vincent having a nice night here throwing the football. He's getting protection though. Sure in motion to the left. Vincent back to throw, a draw. Quarterback draw straight up the field to about the uh, 19. Second and five, the quarterback draw by Vincent. Picks up five yards. Ball down on the Williamsburg 19. This is a very good Williamsburg defense. Fakes the handoff, and the ball comes out, and it's going to be Williamsburg uh, football at the 25-yard line. Well, after the fumble, Williamsburg takes over on their 25, and here we go with a minute to go in the first quarter. Heitman in motion to the left. Throws out there to the left, uh, and it's uh, got some running room. Isabel's out there, and uh, Vincent, uh, they're going to get about five. Williamsburg has an illegal shift penalty of five yards, so it brings up a first and 15. And uh, around that left side, has some running room over there, and they're going to get about five back. In for Williamsburg. Ball on the 25 again now. A lot of misdirection. And uh, nice play by Williamsburg, but I'll tell you something right now. Number 30, ended nothing, nothing. This is the first play of the second quarter, third and seven. Williamsburg immediately calls a timeout. Called a timeout, third and seven. Heitman in motion to the left. Rolls left, looks out here, has a man coming over the middle. It's incomplete. Number 40 set to punt for the uh, Raiders. Low snap, gets the kick away. It's a wobbly kick. Hits it about the, uh, we're gonna see where they mark it. It almost hit out of bounds. It's gonna uh, go out of bounds at the bare 39 yard line. They've started at the West Branch 48, the 41 and the 39. They've had great field position this first half. They just have not been able to capitalize on it. First and 10 Bears. Hand off to O'Neill, straight ahead for a yard. Second and eight here for uh, West Branch. This is a very, very good uh, defensive Williamsburg football team. 11-17 to go in this half, no score. Little uh, shovel pass and the ball comes squirting out and it's an incomplete pass. Well, I'm sure Coach Rummels is pulling his hair out by this time. Uh, shovel pass goes incomplete, it's third and eight. Bears keep putting themselves in a hole and now they call timeout. Well, on third and eight, Vincent calls a timeout to make sure they get the right play in here. This is a big play, the ball on the bare 45 yard line. Murphy in motion to the left. Vincent rolls right, has block and has a man out here. That's Osmondson and it's incomplete on fourth and eight. Bears forced to punt here. Sure will be punting from about the West Branch 32 yard line. Number 21 of the deep backs, McAllister. He's dangerous. Hits at the uh, Williamsburg uh, 30, 25, down to about the 15-yard uh, line. Nice punt there by Schuer. There's Gary Bass with that red and blue jacket on over there, right in the middle of the chains. Bears doing a good job of keeping Williamsburg pinned deep in their own territory. This is their fourth possession. Uh, it's student body left here. O'Neill turns the play in, and uh, they're going to get about three. They uh, run it uh, student body right this time, and uh, they're going to get a couple more. Third and five here for Williamsburg. Ball on the 20. Back to throw. Rolls left. Looks over the middle. Ryan O'Neill and Trent Tysinger. This time Roberts will be punting uh, from about the five yard line. It's blocked into the end zone. If they get it, it's going to be a touchdown West Branch. Touchdown Bears! Touchdown Bears! <laughs> Spots down, kicks up, and I don't think it's any good. It's the one that blocked the punt. Uh, we think maybe O'Neill is the uh, person who fell on it. We'll wait and try to get back to you on that. But anyway, it's 6-0 West Branch. Ball taken at the uh, Waynesburg 15-20, uh, and he rounds that corner down there. Uh, number uh, 21 sure made a flying stab and at least got him slowed up. Isabel. Pretty sure it was. Jesus wants to get all the hand slapping when he came on. Okay. 
So we got 17 over here, and it's down to what the 10. So they got 40 of 57 here. I tell you that nothing comes easy for this team. It's been this way. Nothing comes easy. Nothing. 7.22 to go here, second quarter, second and goal. Ball on the six, Heitman over the left side, and he's going to be down close. Here we go, the crowd's into it. Hand off to Heitman over the right side, takes a tremendous hit. Number 76, Trent Tysinger in there. Oh, fourth and a foot. Hand off to Heitman. Touchdown, Williamsburg. Goes for the extra point, spots down. Kicks up, it's going to be good. Uh, Williamsburg's going to lead this thing 7 to 6 with 6.22 to go in his first half. By Williamsburg was 71 yards on seven plays. They had six on the ground, the big play being the 57 yard pass play. And the Heitman capped it off with a one yard touchdown run. They squibbed the ball straight down the middle and sure is going to take it at the uh, 25. Heads up to the 30, to the 35, and he's going to be out to about the uh, 38 yard line. 6.16 in this first half. They trail 7-6. Ball on the bare 38 yard line. Gates in motion to the left. Vincent pitches it to Gates. Gets a nice block out there from O'Neill and we have a uh, flag back here. Well, on the first play, the Bears get caught for an illegal block below the waist. 15 yards, so now it's first and 25 and we have another whistle. Well, we're finally set to go here on first and 25. Gates in motion to the right. Ball all the way back on the bare 21 yard line. Vincent under pressure, has a man out here and it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, brings up a second and six here for the Bears. Or excuse me, second and 25. Murphy in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw, a little delayed handoff to uh, Gates and he'll get a couple. Grace leads him out of the huddle here, third and 24. They give uh, Gates one yard on that last carry. Bears need some kind of a big play here. Vincent back to throw a little inside uh, pitch to Murphy. Puts his head down to the 35 and uh, he's gonna be out. Uh, that's gonna be good for about 12 yards. Fourth and 12. Sure punting from his own 21, 22 yard line. Ball is gonna hit at about the Williamsburg 31 and take a Williamsburg hop and come back to about the Williamsburg 33 yard line. Sixth possession of the first half. They roll right. It gets uh, blocked. He turns the corner and busts out to the 40 45 and a saving tackle there by Schuer. Down on their 49. They're driving again. Hand off inside to Heitman and he bounces off several West Branch tacklers down to the 40, down to the 39. Our team. Uh, Williamsburg assessed a 15-yard clipping penalty, takes the ball back for a first and 18. Now Heitman in motion, and they uh, throw out here in the, in the uh, flat, and that play is uh, played well by Aaron Benson. Second and 18. 3.20 to go, first half, 7-6 Williamsburg. Heitman in motion. Out there blocking O'Neill, gets some pressure. Almost intercepted by Murphy. 18 for Williamsburg. Back to throw. Looks over the middle, has a man crossing. And it's uh, incomplete again. Number for Williamsburg. He'll be punting from about the Williamsburg 27. Murphy is alone back. And it's almost blocked again. And the Bears are going to get roughing the kicker. Gives Williamsburg a first and 10 on the Bear 46 yard line. And Heitman stopped uh, for no gain. Gain on that last play. 
Hand off to Heitman again, and he goes straight ahead for maybe a couple. 1.55 to go first half. They fake, uh, they fake the uh, end around, and uh, they get absolutely nothing. Play a game here. Williamsburg set to punt from their own 45-yard line. Snaps back, kicks away, and they're going to angle it out of bounds. And uh, boy, oh boy, it's going to roll dead at about the Bears' seven-yard line. Own seven, with a minute seven left to go in this football game, or in this first half. Excuse me. Murphy in motion to the left. A little inside handoff, and boy, oh boy, number 64 for uh, uh, Williamsburg. Casey Irwin just sorted people out till he found the ball carrier. Second and 10, no gain on that last play. 35 seconds to go in the half. Sure in motion. This time they hand off to O'Neill around the left side, and Heitman in there, a bunch of uh, Williamsburg players. He'll be out to the 10, so he'll gain possibly uh, three on that carry. Bears are simply going to let the clock run out here. And that'll be the end of the first half, and they uh, they trail in this football game 7-6 to six here at Olive Street Field. We'll be back in just a little bit to bring you the halftime stats. All right, here come the Bears back on this football field for uh, what could be the last half of football or what could be the springboard to the playoffs. I'll tell you what, it was a uh, very tough, tough first half here for the Bears. Uh, a lot of key penalties, uh, a couple key mistakes, but anyway, they're still in this football game. It's 76 Williamsburg here, and we have a half of football left. And uh, I'll tell you something right now, the trademark of uh, West Branch Bear football teams is... Uh, as many years as I, I have been doing this, I've never seen one give up yet, and I'm sure that you won't see one give up either. So uh, the Bears know what they have to do. They need that 13-point win here, and uh, I'm sure that probably 13 points is the last thing in their mind right now. They just would like to have a win, period. Uh, while we got a second here, we're going to give you some halftime stats. Uh, total rushing plays, believe it or not, the Bears only had 12 rushing plays that first half for a total of 20 yards. Williamsburg had 23 plays on the ground for a total of 47. Vincent was four of nine through the air. Uh, Williamsburg was uh, number one. Hawker was three of six. Uh, total passing yards for the Bears was 36. Total passing yards for uh, Williamsburg was 66, but 57 of that came on one pass. So the total yards for the Bears in the first half was 56. Total yards for Williamsburg was 113. The Bears had three first downs. Williamsburg had five. Penalties, the Bears had three for 45, and uh, Williamsburg had three for 25. Individual receiving, uh, Kessler had two catches for 18 yards, O'Neill had one for six, and Murphy had one for 12. Uh, in the individual rushing statistics, uh, there's not a lot of them, but Vincent had two carries for nine, and believe it or not, he's the leading ball carrier in the uh, first half. O'Neill had five carries for six, and Gates had four carries for five. So there's really not a whole lot of highlights here in this first half, but like I said, uh, the Bears know what they need to do to get the job done here in the second half, and I'd love to see them come out and uh, put together a solid second half of football and make the Iowa High School football playoffs. Here, uh, Murphy and Kessler are back deep for the Bears, and uh, during the halftime, the rain has started, uh, coming down pretty good, and we have a horn go off and a whistle blow, and uh, the first second half starting just like the first whistle they tried to start play here there was still 20 seconds left on the halftime clock so now we're going to start ball goes uh, squib kicked and it's going to be down at the uh, bear 36 yard line by Kessler and that's a good move there with this ball being wet now Bears set to go here officials trying to keep the ball dry first and 10 on the bear 36 yard line first play of the second half Murphy in motion to the right Straight handoff up the middle to O'Neill, and ooh boy, he gets seven, but if he would have kept his feet, there was room to run. Get six yards on that first down carry, but the most uh, uh, disappointing thing that we uh, see is uh, Trent Tysinger, the big all-state tackle, comes limping off here. Hopefully he'll be able to shake it off. Vincent pitches, O'Neill uh, cuts it uh, to the outside instead of cutting it in there, and he's gonna lose about a yard. Third and six here for the Bears. Ball on their 40. Gates in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw, under pressure. And uh, he's hit just as the ball goes out of his arms. Forced to punt here on fourth and six. Sure will be punting from about his own 27 yard line here with 11.09 to go third quarter. 
snaps back. It's a good one. It's a good punt. High, signal fair catch at the 24-yard uh, line. Go on their own 25, their first possession of the second half. Hand off over the left side, and a nice hit there by the Bears, and uh, they're going to have about three. Second and six here. A little inside handoff to Heitman, and uh, boy, oh boy, he gets a couple. Third and two for the Bear, or for Williamsburg. Bears need to hold. Hand off over that left side, and he's going to have the first down. Up a first and ten on their own 39-yard line. Hand off around that left side. Gates is out there. He gets in behind Gates. Down that left side and sure makes a tackle. Here they go. First and ten down on the Bear 41, and they're going to get about three or four more yards. And eight. Ball on the Bear 38. Little inside handoff to Heitman. He slips about three or four tackles, and he's going to be forward for about five. Ball on the Bear 35. They need to get to about the 32. The handoff around this right side. And a great play there by Aaron Vincent. Fourth and one. Ball on the Bear. 33-yard line, handoff over the left side, and they're going to have the first down and then some. First and 10, ball on the bear 30. Quarterback keeper around that left side, cuts it back upside, takes a wicked hit by uh, Isabel and gets down to about the 25-yard line. Second and six here for Williamsburg, down on the bear 25. Handoff a little inside to, uh, to Heitman, and he could score. Touchdown, Williamsburg. Well, that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive, capped off with a 25-yard Heitman touchdown. And the point is up, and it's good. So uh, Williamsburg leads this thing 14 to six here with 6.58 to go in his third quarter. 6.58 to go, third quarter. Right down the middle, taken uh, by Kessler, who falls down at about the 38-yard uh, line. Ball on her own 38-yard line with 6.56 to go, third quarter, 14-6 Williamsburg. Gates in motion to the left. Vincent rolls left under heavy pressure from the backside. And he's going to uh, slip to tackle the 40. And he's going to be hit at about the uh, bare 48 yard line. He'll be close to the first down. Bears just short of that first down, about a half a yard. Murphy in motion to the right. Vincent back to throw, pumps once, under heavy pressure, gets away, out to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, and he's going to be out of bounds at about the 27-yard uh, line, a great First and 10 Bears, that's their first, first and 10 of this second half. Ball down on the uh, Williamsburg 29-yard line. Boy, I'll tell you, Vincent made something out of nothing there. Looked like he was going to be sacked for a 10-yard loss, then gets about a 33-yard in. O'Neal's on his feet, down to the 20. Second and two here for the Bears. Ball on the 20. 5-17, third quarter, 14-6 Williamsburg. Hand off to O'Neal, follows behind his blockers, and he's going to have the first down. Bears break the huddle. It's first and 10 Bears. Ball on about the Williamsburg 17-yard line. Hand off to Gates, follows his blockers, does a little tiptoe through there, he's down to the 10. Second and two once again for the Bears. Ball on the 10. Clock running in this third quarter, 428. Sure in motion to the left. Quick pitch to Gates, he's got some blockers. To the five, to the four, he could be in. Touchdown, Pat Gates! Touchdown, Bears! A ten play of this whole football game, it's 14 to 12. The Bears really, really need this two-point conversion. Sure in motion to the left. Hand off to O'Neal. He's hitting the backfield, stays on his feet, and they're not going to get it. By the Bears was 62 yards on six plays, capped off with the Gates' 10-yard run. So that's the first offensive touchdown of the Bears. It's 14 to 12, but like I said, folks, this game is a long ways from over yet. We've got uh, 16 minutes of football left here at Oliphant Street Field, and we've seen a lot of strange things happen. O'Neill's kicks taken at about the 20-yard uh, line, up the right side and up the middle. Number uh, 72, Taylor in there makes contact. Number uh, six in there for the Bears. Uh, that was uh, Ryan Dauber and uh, good kick coverage by special teams. First and 10, Williamsburg on her own 32-yard uh, line. They run that left side and uh, nice play out there. Number uh, two, uh, Brian O'Neill on that play. 
to go here on second 11. They lose one yard on that first down play. Handoff inside to Heitman, and uh, he gets an initial hit in there, and he's going to get about four. Third and six. Big play for the Bear defense. Ball on the uh, Waynesburg 35. Back to throw. Has a man out there, and it's uh, caught at about the uh, Bear 42-yard uh, line. Well, the Bears get a gigantic break. Williamsburg has an illegal procedure penalty, so now it's third and 11 instead of that big gain down at the Bear 42. Uh, under heavy pressure, down he goes. Tremendous play by Trent Tysinger back at the 21-yard uh, line. Penalty on Williamsburg turned out to be huge. It took away the big play, forced him into a punting situation. The Bears ought to get this thing in pretty good shape. Gates signals for a fair catch at the 46-yard uh, line. First and 10 Bears on their own 46 with a minute 50 to go in this uh, third quarter. It's 14 to 12 Williamsburg. Rain continues to come down. Gates in motion. Little inside handoff, double reverse in here to Murphy, and he slips. Second and 11, loss of a yard on that last play. Uh, officials time out here for equipment again. Gates in motion. Vincent pitches to Gates, he makes a nice cut, stays on his feet and he'll get about two. Third and nine, ball on the bear 47 yard line. They need to get to the uh, Williamsburg 44. 34 seconds left. Vincent back to throw, has time, puts the ball out here and it's uh, intercepted at the 40, the 50. Tysinger makes a saving tackle at the uh, Bear 39-yard line. Williamsburg, uh, after the interception, has the ball at the Bear 36-yard line with 23 seconds to go. Third quarter, they go right to the air, and uh, it's incomplete. Second and 10. Round that left side, makes a nice cut. Back inside, number 62, Isabel makes the third and eight here for Williamsburg. This will be the first play of the fourth quarter. Inside handoff to Heitman. And he breaks it out, and he's going to be down close to the first down. Williamsburg, ball down on the Bear, 26-yard line. Hand off to Heitman again, and we have a flag. First and 15, illegal procedure against Williamsburg here. They snap the ball in a hurry. A little inside handoff, and a nice play by number 76, Trent Tysinger, who's basically playing on one leg out there. 17, Tysinger, gutty performance. He's got that right... Uh, that ankle injured, and boy, oh boy, he throws into traffic. It's incomplete over the middle. 17, clock running, 10.49 to go in his football game. Heitman in motion to the right. Hawker rolls right, pumps once, and goes over the middle. It's caught at the, uh, it's gonna be knocked out of bounds, and we'll wait and see where they spot it. They're gonna be two. Here's your big play, folks. Hand off over that right side, and uh, we'll wait and see. It looks like he got it. 10. Ball on the bear, 10. Hand off inside to Heitman, and down he goes. Number 76, Trent Tysinger. Second and 10. Hand off. He keeps the ball, turns it inside, and boy, oh boy. Take a guess who made that tackle. Trent Tysinger. 10 07 to go in this football game. They lead 14 to 12. Back to throw. Wants to throw quickly over the middle. Has a man wide open. Touchdown, Williamsburg. All right, that drive was a good one. 36 yards after the interception. Boy, oh boy, it was uh, a 10 play drive, six on the ground, four through the air, and the extra point is no good, so it's 20 to 12. And that's a kick off here, that last drive, as we said, uh, boy, it was a thing of beauty. 36 yards on 10 plays. Squibs it down the middle, taking it to 28. That's a sure, then back upside. Inside, back to about the 41-yard uh, line. Bears set to go here on their own 42. This will be their fourth possession of the second half. 8.54 to go in this football game, 20 to 12 Williamsburg. Vincent rolls right, has blockers, has a man out here, and it's almost intercepted. Second and 10 after the incomplete pass. Ball still on the Bear, 42-yard line, 8.48. Clock stops after the incomplete pass. Boy, the wind's picking up from the west here. Caught by Kessler, puts his head down, and he's out to about the 48-yard uh, line. That was Kessler's third reception of the evening. He's got three catches for 24 yards, having a nice night here. Hand off to O'Neill, follows his blockers. He'll have the first down. 
down to the uh, Williamsburg 44 yard line. Williamsburg 44, they need to get down there and get in that touchdown. Touchdown and a two point conversion. We have a new ball game. Quick pitch to left to Gates, has some blockers. 35 to the 30, he breaks it, he's gonna score! Touchdown, Pat Gates! There you go, folks, 20 to 18. We thought that last two point was important. How about this one? Bears show motion to the right. Vincent rolls right, has a man out there. He pumps once, and they're not gonna make it. Kick off for the Bears, and without the uh, beleaguering the point, we have a feeling that this game is gonna come down to some kind of a strange play. Ball is bobbled at about the 15 to the 20. Up to the 25, breaks out to the 30. First and 10, Williamsburg on our own 24-yard line. Heitman over that left side. Here we go. Second down and six. He gets outside and uh, sure makes a tackle, makes a saving tackle, I might add, at about the 43-yard uh, line. First and 10, Williamsburg. Heitman over that left side has a huge hole. Down to the Bear 48-yard line. Bear into Bear territory. Over that right side. Big hole on his feet. Down to the 40. 10 Williamsburg. Bears called a timeout to try to get this defense shored up. Heitman goes over the right side and he'll get nothing. Oh, well, we got a second here too. We want to tip our hat to that chain gang that's been with us all year. That's Drew Johnston, Bob Leslie, Gary Bass, and uh, General Bruce Jeffries on that down marker. We tip our hats to them. They've been great all year. Around that right side, a tremendous hit over there by Gates. This play of the second half for Williamsburg. They roll right, has blockers out in front of him. He'll have the first down. This will be the 31st play of the second half. The Bears have only had 16 plays this second half. 4.36 to go in this football game. A little inside handoff and a saving tackle. A saving tackle again by number four, Aaron Vincent. Four minutes to go. 20 to 18 Williamsburg. Hand off around that right side. Kessler makes a great play out there for Nelson Nine with 319 to go. Back to throw. Looks, looks, gets hit. The ball's out. It pops to another man. Unbelievable. An unbelievable play. Watch kick me on. Here we go, folks. It's down to one drive. For the season, 3.05, clock running, ball on the 28-yard line. Murphy in motion to the left. Vincent back to throw, a little inside handoff to Gacy, he has some room to the 35, to the 40, or to the 35. No huddle here, second and three, 2.40 to go. This time it's Gates in motion to the right. The Bears are sucking it up here. One last drive, Vincent takes a wicked hit from behind it at the 28-yard line. Third and 10, the Bears call a timeout. They need some kind of miracle here at Oliphant Street Field. Ball on the 28. Murphy in motion to the right. Vincent rolls right. Throws the ball out here, has a man wide open. That's Gates at the 45 to the 50. And he's down at the uh, Williamsburg 46 yard line. What a game, what a game. Ball down on the Williamsburg 46 yard line. A minute 58 to go in this football game. Clock running. Vincent sets him down, sure in motion to the right. Fakes a handoff, then he hands off to O'Neill right up the middle, down to the 40 with a minute. Second and four. Bears are plodding forward here. Clock running, a minute 24. Handoff inside the gates. He breaks it down to the 30, down to the 26 yard line. Crowd really into this now. Rain coming down hard. Ball on the uh, Williamsburg 27 yard line with a minute 16 to go and uh, Vincent spikes the ball to stop the clock. 10, the clock stopped when Vincent spiked the ball. O'Neill in motion to the left. The ball is thrown in, boy oh boy if that would have been uh, a little bit closer, it could have been interesting. Well it's uh, third and 10. And you have to wonder if the Bears will try a field goal here if uh, they don't make it with a minute 12 to go. Murphy in motion to the left. Vincent sets him down, looks, pumps once, throws it out there in the flat, and Murphy has it, and it's going to be good for a first down. At about boy, oh boy, folks, what a football game here at Oliphant Street Field. A minute six to go, first and ten Bears. 
The ball down on the Williamsburg 15 yard line. 20 to 18, uh, Williamsburg here. The Bears having a little trouble getting this uh, play off. Minute five, the clock starts. He spikes the football, so it's gonna give the Bears a little time to get another play in here. Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting your money's worth here tonight at Oliphant Street Field. Second down and 10, a minute three to go. Ball on the Williamsburg 15 yard line. Vincent back to throw. A little inside handoff to Murphy, cuts it back inside. He's down to about the 12, 43 seconds. It looks like they're trying to center the ball here, maybe for a field goal attempt on third and eight. Sure in motion to the left. Hand off to O'Neill, and he's gonna be taken down after about a two yard gain. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna leave the camera run here, and we'll probably leave it run. Uh, we, the uh, Bears let the clock run down to 10 seconds. Tim O'Neill, the fine kicker for the Bears, uh, come in. He'll be kicking from about uh, the Bear, we're gonna, or the Williamsburg, we're gonna say the Williamsburg uh, 20 yard line. So it's gonna be about a 30 yard field goal attempt. We're waiting to see uh, what the Bears do here. And they call a timeout after the officials start the clock. Bears let the clock run to three seconds. Take a timeout. Tim O'Neill, it all comes down to one kick, and it looks like now Williamsburg's gonna take a timeout and try to ice O'Neill here. All right, both teams back out on the field. As we said before, this is no place for the weak of heart. And I'm sure Mr. O'Neill has kicked this a thousand times in practice. The snaps back, kicks up. It's no good, it's no good. Williamsburg wins here at Oliver Street Field, 20 to 18, as the crowd comes out on the field. And uh, while well, we got a second here at the uh, the end of the year, uh, it looks like probably the Bears are going to be out of the playoffs. We want to make sure we salute all of the seniors on this football team. Uh, number two, Brian O'Neill. Number four, Aaron Vincent. Number five, Tim O'Neill. Number six, Ryan Dauber. Number eight, Trent Hansen. Number 10, Andy Campy. Number 11, Aaron Carr. Number 33, Rob Osmussen. Number 34, John Jacobson. Number 58, Kevin Kaleberg. 60, Andy Hosier. 61, Joe Weavers. 62, Mike Isabel. 72, Matt Taylor. 76, Trent Tysinger. Uh, 77, Steve Grace. And 78, Josh Hartz. We want to tip our hats to them. It's been a great season for them. Uh, they've given it everything they've had all year. We've had great senior leadership and uh, no trouble this year, a fine bunch of seniors. We want to say thanks to all the West Branch fans that have supported us all season. You've been faithful to us on the road and here at home. And uh, once again, Wayne Lang, Voice of the Bears, and Kenny Hatfield on the camera saying thanks for everything you've done for us this year. And uh, we'll see you next season. Thank you.